All right, guys, this is a geometric dive video where I'm going to show you the left side, the left view, which is the five point side. And we're using stars for those points. There is another video that shows you how to make the stars. So this one, I'm just going to kind of blow through it a little bit quickly. Um, if you need to go slow, um, just go ahead and pause it. Go ahead and um, use whatever strategy you need to. But I'm going to go quick. So let's go to this side. All right, I just clicked the sketch button. I'm going to click this side. And I'm going to use the polygon tool. I'm going to be looking for five-sided polygons. So there's six. I need to change that to five. No, nope, need to change it to five on that one. Okay, now that's five sides. Now that's good to go. Yes, it's really large, but that doesn't matter right now. When I put in my constraints, it's going to figure out. I'm going to make my pointed sides with the line tool. Each line is going to start at the corner of the polygon. This is how this works. If there's a space there later, then you need to correct that. All right. Yes, it's ugly, but it will look better here in a few minutes. So I have two dimensions. I have a 1.27 here oh, get rid of that five that's and actually these constraints here those will uh, give me problems later so it's best to just delete them right now all right this side is 1.27 millimeters and this side which i want to make sure i get it aligned so straight out perpendicular from those two points. So that's perfect. That is 2.05. Now I'm going to use my equal constraints. I'm going to make each uh, point, each of the two lines of the point equal to each other. And all I need is one dimension if I do that. All right, look at that. Now that's a good looking star. Now, one thing I can do now is I can take these insides and make those constructions so they still hold the star together, but they won't interfere. I won't have to click this six times to get it to extrude correctly because that turns into a big pain when I got to do that times five stars. That's 30 clicks versus five. All right, so now I have this star and it's rotating around. So let's see, I'm going to put it in the top right. And well, actually, I'm going to put it in the bottom left because that's the one that's oriented. Um, if I look, I have a 90 degrees from this side, from that line to the bottom edge. And that's going to be 90. Now it's oriented correctly. Now I just need to place it. So I'm going to place it using the center point like I do everything else. And by this point, I've already memorized 6.35 millimeters. Or if I can't remember, I can just do 25.4 divided by 4. And now that that's black, I can check the um, browser. And it tells me that I have all the constraints in there I need to. This is a fully constrained, which is always what I'm shooting for. Now, um, probably the best way to do this is to copy and paste. Duplicate. So I just control C and control V. I'm just going to kind of put them in the right place. I'm just going to do that four more times. Two. Put it there. Hit enter. Do it again. Okay. There are times where it doesn't want to work. Usually, if I do it a couple of times, it works. And I can also just use the move copy if it's not working. This move copy tool essentially does the same thing. So for my object, I select it. Create copy. Move it over here. Click OK. I just find Control C and Control V a little bit quicker. Now all I have to do is put in the correct dimensions relative from the center points to the edges. Um, I can't even substitute some horizontal and vertical constraints for those. And uh, yeah, that's how we do the stars. Not a big deal. You guys can do it. Make it happen.